hi everyone welcome to the channel if you are liking the videos please do subscribe to the channel it motivates me a lot and i will be making the new videos uh, if you are facing any problem in any of the script you can type in in the comments i will try to uh, make a script and share with you in the comments so in this video we'll uh, we'll see how we can extend the capability of the PowerShell so suppose if you want to execute the commands of SharePoint or you if you want to execute the command of exchange or SQL uh, you will you will not be able to uh, directly execute the commands in the PowerShell it will throw an error saying that these commands are not recognized uh, for that you have to import the modules like if you want to execute the SharePoint you have to import the mod modules and then you will be able to execute the SharePoint commands so let's go to the uh, lab and see how we can do it now the GUI version of it you can type in MMC and here from file you can see add and remove snap-ins from here you can add the snap-ins and then you can execute it uh, I'll show you uh, through with this command now see uh, first you will check how what are the commands of the snapping so if you type in the help you see the add ps snapping is there remove ps snapping is here get ps snapping is there so suppose you want if you want to execute this get sp service this is the command of the sharepoint so if you go and execute it it will throw here that get sp service is not recognized uh, because this command it is this ps snapping is not added currently how many ps snappings are added you see f8 how only microsoft.powershell.core is there now if you want to add it you have to add add ps snapping microsoft.sharepoint.powershell you go and add it now it's added now if you go and uh, check here it will show in the intelligent sp service get sp service It's SP servers also. This will also be executed. You see, uh, SP service. So these are uh, commands of SharePoint where you can uh, see these the services are there. So you have to import that module and then you can execute the commands of that. Uh, other commands also. You see, get web, get web get sp site get sp uh, all sp web all the objects web application all the all the commands will be visible now if you want to import any module suppose and and you don't know uh, the name of the module or if you want to know the module this list of level get module is a command and list of level if you type it will list down all the modules which are there you see these modules are there now this active directory you can see these modules are there if i want to suppose if you want to import this active mod directory module and i want i want to use the commands i can type in uh, like import module and then the name of the uh, this is the name active directory so i can import it from here no this is important and now you can check in the commands you see all these commands all these commands are there now you see new ad, AD um, all these commands had ad now this microsoft is doing for all the sharepoint command, um, sharepoint commands you see all the commands would be like get sp server get sp service get sp wave get sp site similar to for all these active directory commands it's uh, new ad new ad object new ad group new ad claim type so ad is implemented so this way you can uh, check that these are the active directory commands and also active directory commands are here also you see module name so if any if you want to check any of the account get ad you can type in that these commands are now imported get ad you type and you see these many commands claim types you can write and you can enter and you can enter the filters and then you will get the commands so this way you can uh, import these uh, modules and you can use it uh, that's all thank you